my air conditioning is out, so I put the babies just in their diapers. Oh my gosh, their silicone's so warm. So I'm in Florida now, and since, even though it's November 1st, um, it was 87 degrees today. Wow, I've never felt the silicone so warm. Feels nice, actually. Um, they're very more squishy when they're, a little bit more squishy when they're, um, warm. But I'm gonna compare these babies. Oh, but it got up to 87 today, so it's really hot in here. I just, um, I live in an apartment, and they actually came, even though it's a Sunday, to try to fix it, but they, nothing they did could worked, so they think they're gonna have to replace the whole unit, which would be great in the long run, because my bills will probably be lower. Although I haven't got, like, my first electric bill yet, but it'd be interesting to see if it was lower. So I'm going to compare these two cuties. These are my two silicone babies that I own right now. I don't have any others. Um, I just have a silicone kitty. And her name is Daisy. And she's joining us in this video as well. I guess I should show you her to like compare as well. I'll do her first. Like, she's like a harder silic, a little bit of a harder silicone. She's still kind of like pretty soft, but I would say these guys' silicone is definitely is softer than hers. But because she's got like you know these little tiny little pieces, so you'd want to have a little bit of a more durable silicone. So this is my silicone kitty. I keep wanting to do a bath video with her, which I will do soon, sometime soon. Um, I got her from Ping Wow, and yeah, that's her. So I'm not sure what EcoFlex Lennon is. This is Lennon, and this is Zara. It's I I like doing this because it sounds real, like a real skin. And I've powdered, not like before this video, but like a few days ago, I powdered them, and Zara feels so soft, like she never used to feel like this, she kind of like stuck to her fingers a little bit, um, so, Lennon takes a, a newborn passy, and I need to get some of the, whatever this gel stuff is, um, because, her passes are hard to put in her mouth. In Zara, she actually doesn't take a passy, but um, I've learned that there are this one I can modify, and she takes it. So I really like her with this passy in. And, alright. Lennon has an armature. You might be able to hear it. Of course, Max has to come. Probably can't really hear it. Once in a while, you can hear it. Um... So that makes her arms less floppy, but she's definitely a softer silicone than Zara. Um, I don't know if she's 10 or 15. I'm guessing she's 15. I'm guessing Zara's like, I don't know, 20? 25? I don't really know a lot about that. I can't really remember. I love her little belly button. I love belly buttons. They're so cute on babies. So, Lennon's head moves side to side, but it's really hard to move. I gotta get up under her neck and put some powder under there, like, in her grooves. Zara's head used to move, but I didn't like how it looked. Like, hers kind of blends in, so it looks just like a roll. Hers, like, kind of did, but if you moved her head sideways, it you could see, like, the gap, and I didn't like that. Oh my gosh, Max, you look so comfy. So cute over there. I guess you can see him a little bit. Um, so Zara's fingers, I mean, Lennon's fingers were just, like, really squishy and I don't really know how to compare them. Um, I will, I will, hit, I will um, lift them up. See, hers are like. Do you see how like hers flopped more than hers? So. Um, Lennon, they look. Um, when you put them side by side, they're um, they don't look super different. But if you look at Zara, she's a lot chunkier. She's got a big belly and like backside, and Lennon is pretty flat. Like, she doesn't have much of any excess, like, flab <laughs> or chunk, I guess you would say. Chunk is a better word. Um, and Zara's limbs are longer, and she is taller. 
So she wears three months and she wears a newborn. Um, I'm not sure about zero to three on her. I haven't tried it yet, but newborn fits her perfectly and three months fits her perfectly and zero to three usually fits as well, but definitely not newborn. It's way too small. So I'll do their legs. Hers are the most floppiest silicone legs I've ever seen in my life, but I love them. And her legs go out like this, so they, she's super fun to cuddle. Make it true, still recording. And I just love squishing them, and her feet look, or her legs are really awesome. Like, they're probably my favorite feature on her for sure. Zara's are chunkier, so that by nature makes them less floppy. But um, they just kind of they don't actually always touch the they're touching the bed right now. Maybe because it's memory foam and her butt sinks down. But a lot of times her legs are like don't actually touch. So you can see like her hers go way back if you let them. Um, the necks, like you can actually lift her without her neck coming off. Looks uncomfortable. And Zara, you can do the same now. And here she's heavier, you can see. Oh yeah, Zara is nine and a half. I'm not sure how much Lennon weighs. I'm guessing seven pounds, maybe six, six, seven pounds. Zara is very heavy, so, uh, I don't know, pick them up like I would a baby. You can see her flop, flop the legs, flop to the sides. Up backwards and her arms, see her arms are staying because of her armature. I never hold the babies like that, just doing it for the video. This is Zara, I'm a little worried to do that. I don't want to get any rips. Her neck looks amazing, but I don't want to stress it. So, I think her head could go back. Whoa, see on the sides. She's super heavy, she's hard to maneuver like this. Yeah, she's got a little belly, like, button that looks like an actual button, and she's got, look, like, she might have an Audi. So, that's probably not to compare. I'll show you their backside. I guess. Lennon's is very flat. And one thing about Lennon that I don't like is that she puts, like, the number here, and then the Olivia Stone you can't see as much. That's, like, in there. But that is, like, you can see that big time. I don't like that. But you can't see that as much, so I understand that, but I don't know. Put it on the butt or something where you're not going to really see as much because they're going to be wearing diapers. She's got a lot of veining. Zara's um, got less veining. You see ones here and there. Zara's face is facing that way. Legs are so cute. Are you hot, buddy? And I would say um, Lennon has really nice soft hair. Zara's hair is okay, it's kind of scraggly. But see like how her diaper sags because she has no butt and Zara's has, has a butt right there. So yeah, there's a bit of a difference with them. And there's things I like about one. Like they each have their own things I like about them and things I dislike. I gotta do her hair. So I hope you enjoyed the little comparison video.